Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough here C-3 and I turned the volume all the way down <laughs> between parts sorry about that there we go Boing! we've got wind we've got the ginormous springs that go crazy we got Lake it too this is not gonna end pretty I can tell you that already yeah that's wow <laughs> it would be happy if I I mean I'd be very happy if I could like land on top of Lake Itu or something like that. Preferably, probably not. So I'm just gonna have to like move forward and completely avoid him whatsoever. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, success. Wait, I'd actually like to drop back down, but I think I'm gonna screw it up because where am I? Oh yeah, because I had no screen scroll and I couldn't tell where I am. But I don't think I would have made that anyway because I didn't have any forward momentum. Oh well, so here we go again. <laughs> That's all I can do to continue. Oh yeah, I rhymed. What you gonna do about it? Careful. Boing! This, this stage I remember being pretty dang hard, if I recall. Oh, I didn't have enough forward momentum, but I can make that one. I can actually skip a little bit of that by simply um, jumping on that second spring and keep moving forward. Like, see how much momentum that I have right now? I could probably, <laughs> I could probably use that for that third spring. Okay, no more demonstrations. Let's just do it for real. Boing and boing. Okay, I don't have enough forward momentum, so I'm just gonna have to land on this little platform. There we go. And I'm gonna try and skip some of this if I can. Yes, okay. Oh my god, that was a close one. <laughs> okay, go up. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you being so mean? Oh! That was uh, the, the kind of jump that I needed to get across to that pipe, though. But, alas, a piranha was there. And thus, I was eaten. Like a fly. Only these piranha plants eat meat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, most Venus fly, or I should say all Venus fly traps don't eat meat. They only eat like, well, I guess you could say the bugs are eat, <laughs> are kind of like a meat, but they don't actually eat like beef and stuff like that. The protein, they don't like the protein and stuff like that. I forgot about that jump. Dang it. <laughs> so you, if you actually feed it uh, like a piece of meat or something, it'll it'll devour it sort of, but it won't like it. Like it'll it might just kill off the limb of the Venus fly flytrap head, basically. Yeah, I didn't have enough forward momentum there at all, did I? Ah, oh, I shouldn't explain Venus fly traps and just continue the level happily. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. I get this first part isn't that bad, I guess. Just just a little bit nerve-wrecking. Well, <laughs> just a little bit. Because of the fact that he can turn any time that he dang wants to. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's going off screen. That works for me. Okay, piranha plant, get on screen, please. There we go. Now I can time myself. And there we go. Boing! Where am I going? Where am I going with this? I can land here. There we go. Getting the hang of these springs. Oh my god, I don't like the looks of this ginormous gap. Where am I going with this now? Oh, not not these again. Oh, I hesitated. I could have made I could have bridged that jump completely if I wouldn't have pulled back to land on one of those lower ones with the fire bars. Oh I could have had that level. But this is very reminiscent of our earlier level, actually. Yes, I kill Lakitu, 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 whatever you want to call him, Lakitu, I don't know, I've never known his pronunciation, I just know that I killed him temporarily and that didn't really help all that much in the long run, because he's gonna zip like that, <laughs> I hate when he does that so much, okay, I'm gonna let him go, there we go, now, I'll wait for it, and there we go, whew, Okay, this, is, this isn't this is that bad, actually. I'm gonna attempt to land on top of the spring. There we go. And then I hope I have enough rhythm to, I should say, momentum to go forward. There we go. I keep saying there we go all the time, but oh, I didn't jump. My hands are getting all sweaty because I'm excited. <laughs> That's probably a good sign that I should probably be quitting for the day, honestly. Because of the fact that uh, getting all 
edgy and that I won't have my smooth rhythm and motion that I would normally have, even though it's not all that smooth to begin with. That's just, but it's smoother than it is right now. You get the idea. And... There we go. And these... <laughs> you stay in the air for a heck of a long time. Whoa! Yeah, okay, put on a plant. Go back inside. Thank you. And I failed to jump. See, that's my own fault now. All right, we're back over here, and... See, ah, oh, I overshot the spring. Once you get used to how this level works, it's actually not all that bad, besides the fact that, you know, you can ran jump into a random spiny, but still, it's not, it's not like, it, it feels like it's undoable, I should say, it's impossible to do, it's, it's long, but it's not all that, whoa, all that difficult, basically. Then again, it's, I, I'm pretty much used to World 8 by now, so anything feels easier than that. Except, as I said, World D will probably demolish me. So that'll be pretty interesting to see. And I believe World D has a remake of the 8-4 castle as well, making it harder, so... I'm not looking forward to that very much, but you probably are. <laughs> whoa, 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 that's a bad place for a spiny, man. Really bad place for a spiny to put it on that spring. Okay, get off screen, time it well, time it good, and there. Boink! Didn't overshoot at that time, and I'm just gonna move on ahead away from those things. Yeah, it's, it's definitely beneficial to you to skip a lot of these things with the springs, basically. And this platform's gonna be really easy to land on. Okay, so what I wanna do here is actually... No! Is just jump the gap using the wind and not even touch those fire bar blocks at the bottom there. I shouldn't have tried to skip that one. <laughs> That's just plain unlucky. And you're kind of... Oh! And you're kind of doing stuff blind. Whoa! Okay, we're on the home stretch here. And we're at this platform. Let's see if I can bridge it this time. All I have to do is just casually do that. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that fire bar! It made me hesitate. Oh, dang it. I'm jumping too close to the edge. I have to give myself a little running room. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Well, that goes to show you that I haven't been using save state since then. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, fire bar. And that's the end of the stage. Whoo -wee. Uh, I'm gonna check over this part real quick just to see what I've got, because I've been working on this thing for quite a while, actually, so hold on just a second, please. Okay, I'll do one more level for this part, because that was pretty much the whole part. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Uh, those fire bars won't be that hard to get past anyway. Well, at least that fir first part doesn't seem like it'll be too hard. So, I was gonna say, so let's just run through the castle and see how that works for me. You know, let's let's keep trying that for the heck of it. Okay, that does kind of work, but I don't think that's very beneficial to, like, consistency or anything like that. Okay. Oh, this reminds me of, uh, earlier castle, actually. Oh my god, this is, like, almost exactly like that other castle. I don't remember the... the numbering of it, but... Yeah, you remember this, and then if you take the lower route, well, you could, or you could hit a Koopa down there and get yourself a 1-up or something like that if you wanted to. Like, through these, uh, Buzzy Beetles. Oh, I see what they did there. They made, they put these blocks here to make it a little bit harder. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap, that was like Kaiserish. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this was the castle that I, that I thought was like really easy, and they really souped up the difficulty of this one with that one jump. Okay... No! Oh, I almost had it! I took a shot! And it failed! Woo! 
Oh man, this part is like evil. You can't, you can't like touch the edge of anything at all. This has to be done like one fell swoop such as that. Holy cow! That was the second time I did it in the row, and I'm surprised. Really, really surprised that worked out as well as it did. Uh, uh, okay, we're back at Bowser. And we got Fire Bar plus Bowser. And he seems to be jumping in a certain... No, he's not jumping in any pattern. Or maybe he is. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. He doesn't seem to be shooting any fireballs, though. So I might be able to work my way underneath his... Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> well, at least not on that run. Ah! That was mean! Well, there's a power up there. So I guess I can get that for to be against Bowser or to get past that uh, fire bar section. Uh, you know, the one that I had trouble with before. So maybe, maybe this would be a good idea to fetch, if at all possible. And there we go. Let's see if that'll give me a little edge against those fire bars, just in case I have to... <laughs> it won't give me an edge there. Hmm, the power-up makes certain sections of, the, sections of the castle a little bit harder, because now I got the ceiling in my way for uh, this portion right here. That's not that much different, I suppose. And... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to touch you, but it actually doesn't because of the fact that you are ducking down. That makes your sprite as small as if you were small Mario. Oh yeah, this isn't going to work at all, so I just got to take the hit when I get up to that point. But that, that does make that spot a little bit easier because of the fact that I can take a hit rather than, you know, just hoping to God that I'm going to do it precise enough that I'm going to get underneath that fire bar. Because those first two runs that I had on there, I admit, were pure luck getting past that. Because that was a Kaizo trap of epic proportions there. Alright, Bowser. Bowser. No, 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 not just yet. There we go. Woo! And I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we start the final world of the game with Tiny Toads. Why do we have to keep finding the princess anyway? We found her already. Sheesh.